Hi and welcome to Numbers Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Trenton bed frame, which is a nectar bed frame, but can also be found on the sister company called Dream Cloud. Um, either of those websites will sell the same bed frame called Trenton, which is a wood and metal bed frame. So today we'll be opening up the box, um, setting it up, assembling it. It is supposed to be very easy and straightforward. The tools are included. So we'll work uh, through this process and then tell you what we feel about the Trenton bed frame. My first step was taking out all of the parts from the box and ordering them by kind of parts that they are. This was made very easy thanks to a sticker on each part that gives you a letter code so that you can organize the parts uh, by kind and then be able to quickly identify um, in the assembly instruction which part they want you to grab and build. Um, the assembly instructions uh, come packaged in the box as well as all of the uh, screws and uh, little building compartments that you need as well as the wrench. Now, from a personal experience, if you have an electric drill, you'll probably be making your life easier, uh, the build might be faster, however, this seems like a uh, no tool needed bed construction where you can just use the wrench provided. Um, so again, it comes with all of the parts you'll need to build. When we took all the parts out of the box, we were very pleasantly surprised with the weight and the sturdiness of the boxes. So here you're looking at the uh, headboard and the footboard. They're very heavy pieces. The metal is uh, seeming to be a very good quality. So that's something we'll be testing out, but a sturdy bed is always better. It is less likely to wobble. It is less, less likely to break and can hold heavier folks. Um, so we'll be, and that's our expectation with a metal bed. Uh, but we'll be testing that out just um, from right out of the box. Uh, something that we notice is just how sturdy the pieces are. So we'll now be following the assembly instructions and making sure that we build this right and let you know how easy the whole assembly is. We're starting with building the headboard, so we're using parts A. D will be on uh, the left hand side, C on the right hand side, and you want A to essentially be flipped so that you'll be looking at the part that will go against the wall. Um, and you'll see that it has metal pieces holding that part of the headboard, so you want that towards the floor. Um, and we're using 4M, which uh, are the little screws that you have the most of in the, in the box. So what you want to do is slightly lift the headboard piece uh, because you have this little piece of metal here um, that will create an angle. And just slide this in there and then simply screw. And you have two screws on each side. Simply screw um, the C and the D inside the headboard, which is coated with letter A, and use the wrench to um, tighten the bolts. We'll then grab uh, the crossboard H and link C and D together. What you want to make sure of is that the nut hole is facing upward. Uh, so we'll grab C and H and the hole is up towards the headboard. And again, we'll use the small M screws to simply tighten it in there. Step three included the unfolding of E and F, which is something that I did when I got them out of the box. So simply, and watch your finger, unfold E, and then F is the same railing on the other side. So what we'll be doing now is using E and F to connect the headboard to the footboard. Um, so we'll start with raising the headboard. So here's the headboard, there's the footboard. We're going to put E, so letter E on the right hand side of the bed and then attach to the foot of the bed. And again, those are pretty heavy pieces. The instructions recommend using two adults. So far we can manage with just one, but um, it'd be probably a bit safer with two. We'll do the same thing with F. And just make sure that those um, extra metal pieces are on the inside of the bed because they'll be used to hold the slats that will hold your mattress. Now 
again, we'll be using um, eight of the M screws to tighten the, uh, the sidebars to the head and the footboard. Okay, we're in step six now. Step six is asking us to attach the sidebar, um, which is G, I believe, yep, to the center of the bed. And we're using, so here again, just make sure to watch your fingers. And this one is giving me a little more trouble because I could not open it earlier when I was unboxing. Let me see. Here you go. Okay, wasn't that hard. Um, this one is going to attach to the center and it's got two feet and you wanna make sure that the second feet comes here towards the end of the bed. And don't worry, right now the, uh, the back foot is not going to be attaching to anything. We'll be using screw N, which is uh, the one that comes with, there's only one of them in the, in the box, so you can't be mistaken. And we'll make sure to align it with the hole that's here in the center. And screwing is really easy. Most things go in very easily and you can use this little wrench to tighten everything. Um, our next step is step number seven and we'll be strengthening this frame using I. We have two I wires. One that will be uh, screwing. So what you wanna do is make sure that the screw is pointing down. One is screwing here into that middle bar we just installed holding it together. I'm going to need two hands for this. Um, and here's the second. So K is attaching us from below to the um, set side rails. And make sure that everything is well tightened so that Nothing moves once you start sleeping on the bed. Those are really easy to put in. So we're doing four of those. And then adding the two longer screws, P, to the center rail. So that we have points of attaches to the sides and the center rail to make sure that we're nice and solid. For those, I'll be using the wrench real quick. The last step in building the strengthened uh, bed frame is adding the slats. Slats in most beds are wooden slats. It's the first time that we build a bed with metal slats. So the strengthened bed frame is made of metal and wood. The only wood in this bed is this uh, veneer laminated lumber wood that is sitting in the headboard and the footboard. Everything else is metal, which is going to add a lot of strength and uh, stability to the bed. What I'll be doing is showing you an up-close video of how we do this um, so that in case you're struggling or have any questions, you can refer to a close-up image of it. Uh, but it's uh, a pretty easy and straightforward um, way to install slats. All right, so you'll want to insert this in the deeper end and then drop it in there. So see how it is dropped inside the deeper end? Then you'll be using this metal piece sticking it in here and pushing it in to lock it all right and that way you have slats that don't move um, so they won't be able to ever come out unless you remove this little uh, plastic piece all right so all in all a very easy process this took me alone um, about 30 minutes and um, i did not need any tools outside of the wrench that was included the instructions were very easy to follow and uh, no pieces were missing, I had a few spares even, and uh, the whole process from beginning to end was very easy. Now, this is the first time that we built an all metal um, bed frame. We're used to wooden slats. Uh, this bed frame is sturdier than anything you have ever tested. Uh, so let me show you just how little it moves. So you'll usually have beds start to wobble. Um, this one does not at all. You have a protection um, on this metal piece to prevent noise, so metal noises. 
So see how as you move, um, you're not hitting metal. This is a bed frame in the Twin and Twin XL that can handle 500 pounds. Anything past that, the full queen, uh, the king and the California king can handle up to 800 pounds of weight. You want to make sure that this is spread out weight. You don't want to drop 800 pounds you know, on one corner of the bed because you'd be risking injuries and the bed collapsing. But 800 pounds um, should be enough for most people to sleep very comfortably um, and even add on kids and pets as needed. Uh, so very sturdy, easy to assemble. Um, let's look at the, the style, the design is very late 20th century industrial style that will work in modern homes, industrial homes, um, as well as contemporary. This is uh, looking really good. You have um, metal that is powder coated steel uh, that marries, uh, that, so that carries that colder style and it marries really well with the warmer wood uh, in the headboard and the footboard that wood is laminated uh, veneer laminated lumber wood that is um, a darker shade of wood and looks really good in again a modern industrial decor now you don't need box springs on this bed frame because of the slats you're able to add a um, mattress right on top of it so you're saving on the box spring um, and it will work with nearly all mattresses uh, that you find online today if you needed a bed frame for an adjustable base, um, I have not tested it, but I would be pretty confident that this would work. What you would do is not build in the uh, slats, not build in um, the couple of pieces that go across, but it seemed like the bed frame itself was um, holding enough, was, was secure enough to um, hold with an adjustable base inside of it. Again, I was mentioning the headboard is 38.11 uh, inches tall, no matter the uh, size of bed you're ordering. Um, it is a lower bed, I would say, than some higher frames. Uh, that works really well with, again, modern homes. Um, and it is very easy to maintain. You can simply wipe it clean with a wet cloth um, in order to keep it clean. So very easy to maintain, a lot easier than cloth. Um, that can get stained. Uh, this is also a darker wood that is less likely to get stained uh, from heads or color bed sheets that might be rubbing on it. You have 50 nights to make sure that this is working for you. So order this bed online. Again, that's a Trenton bed frame uh, available on lakefarsleep.com and um, on the Dream Cloud website as well. You have 50 nights to make sure that you love it. If you don't, you can return it. So 50 nights of sleeping on it at home and you have a three-year warranty on this bed frame. So this talks is very highly about uh, what Nectar is putting into your home. They, they know they're putting good quality product, uh, but they're giving you a chance to test it at home and um, make your own opinion of it. Uh, so all in all, a beautiful bed. We'll be testing it now. Uh, I can just tell uh, we um, review enough products, enough bedding products uh, from bed frames to mattresses to be able to tell pretty quickly that this is going to be a very sturdy bed. Um, but just keep an eye on this YouTube channel, keep an eye on the website, nonbiasreviews.com. If you see this bed over and over in our videos, it means that it's working for us. Uh, we have our guests working on it, and we're pretty rough with bed frames, you know, dropping new mattresses on and off um, as we test them. So if the bed frame lasts, you'll definitely be seeing that in the videos, but we, we don't have too many doubts that it will. Uh, this looks like a beautifully manufactured uh, bed frame. Again, the Trenton bed frame from Nectar Sleep. If you have any questions, let us know. Drop a comment in the box below. Head over to the website. Uh, we do have an exclusive coupon code for you guys on the Nectar website. Um, and let us know if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much for watching.